Good afternoon. It's great to be here. It's uh, terrific to be back in person for a meeting. So, uh, you know, Dr. Stevens and everybody else associated with us, I just want to thank them for arranging this in person. Um, let's see here. So, you know, in terms of Jamboree skin research and some uh, uh, information on our history, we were founded in 1994. You see here on the, uh, the left, innovation results, uh, you know, uh, you know it, th those are things that really matter to us. You know, innovation is really, it tells you a lot about a skincare company. We have 15 patents, we're very proud of that. Uh, we'll get more into results, and commitment really is to our resellers, and I'll get to that at the end of the, uh, the presentation here too. Uh, our team, you know, we're more of a startup company. We have a company that has a background from Abaji Medical. Uh, I come from Qterra. I bring a, bring a lot of people from Qterra with me from senior management, as well as we have a pharmaceutical team. So that group has allowed for us to really prioritize the physician channel over the last several years. And since 2018, we've seen a dramatic increase in our revenue. So we're really at an inflection point. Our revenue has doubled in the last three years, and we're looking forward to the next two, four years for that to double every other year afterwards. So one of the first things that we did when we joined the company uh, a number of years ago was we had to come up with a clinical program. You know, there's a lot of, as, as, as Dr. Stevens mentioned, lotions and potions. And there are a lot of products that are out in the market, but there are not many that have, have strong science to support them. And so the, one of the first things we did is we have to work with leading dermatologists and, and aesthetic physicians. We've done that. We've worked with, as you can see here from our peer-reviewed studies and our white papers, we have six, uh, six peer-reviewed studies five white papers, and we have a couple studies that are ongoing right now. We've worked with the likes of Dr. Battle, Elliot Battle, uh, Brian Beisman, who I know is here somewhere, uh, Joel Schlesinger, uh, Dr. Robert Weiss. So we're very proud of these physicians, and let me show you some of the re results that they've had using our products. So this is a study that Dr. Schlesinger actually did. It was comparing 4% hydroquinone versus our Illuminate uh, Face Lotion MD. And as you can see here from the baseline to 12 weeks out, that our product did very well against really what is a gold standard as a topical solution. And actually the patients in the study preferred using Luminate MD versus the hydroquinone, so we're very impressed with that. Uh, this is just using our skincare management system, which is our most prized products that we actually market, combined with Luminate MD. As you can see from the photos here, we, you know, we take, you know, we're very meticulous about the photos that we take, same angle, same lighting. And this just shows you what you're able to accomplish with topical alone after two months. Um, you know, I loved it with, uh, that was said earlier by Dr. Diane. This is, a, this, is, this is a mood industry that we're in. And what are you do doing to really affect the patient? And this is life changing. When you look at acne, and uh, you know, I've got teenage daughters, so I know a lot about acne. And this is something that's very debilitating. And the fact that you're able to have this kind of result six months out after using topical solutions alone, I think a lot of people can actually believe that. Uh, for fine lines and wrinkles, the base being skincare management combined with our Retinol Plus MD. And this shows you not only before and after, after one month, but UV, uh, which shows 29% improvement in pigmentation three months out, same patient. So la the last three photos I'm going to show actually are a study that we did with Dr. Brian Beisman. We've worked with Dr. Beisman twice now. This study actually was with 12 patients. And it was using our Transform Peel, which is an MD-only uh, peel, along with our top-selling retail products. And as you can see here, this is 15 weeks out after three, a series of three peels and daily use of skincare management system. So for pigmentation, as you can see, hopefully it's showing well. I think you, you can capture that. Uh, one of the funny parts of the story is that the person that did the photography for Dr. Uh, Dr. Beisman, I understood actually, after seeing this, I'm showing you three of the 12 patients, but all of them had a very impressive results. They actually signed up for a series of treatments themselves. Um, you know, one of the things for everybody in this room is, you know, cachet matters, having a brand that people know. And we're very proud of, of all the aesthetic companies that are out there. Nobody has more new beauty awards than Jamarini Skin Research. And we have 16 of those in the last 12 years. In the skincare management system, has received it every single year that they've actually had that. And that's voted by consumers, by their editor board, and it just makes our job a lot easier to really support the success and the momentum of this product, which retails for $320. Um, one of the things that we really talk about a lot is that you know value proposition really matters for our resellers. So what are we doing 
to help transform your business. So we're not interested in selling you products. We're interested in having you be successful with marketing our products. And so we do everything we can to help that be accomplished. So this just shows you some of the trends in skincare, which have never been better. This, on the left is a, a chart from the Klein Group report, which was put out December of 2020, which shows you that basically the, the growth in skincare in 2020 was 63% higher than the decline. So 76% saw increase, 13% saw decline. And for every other category, which included medical equipment, injectable, and energy-based device, it was basically neutral. So clearly that was the category that really stood out in 2020, uh, given what was going on. And then on the, on the right there, that's actually a, uh, a consumer preference study that came out from New Beauty this year, which shows that 80% of consumers that go in for an aesthetic treatment, they want physicians to recommend product to them. They're likely to very likely to, to leave with products if in fact recommended by physicians. So the opportunity in skincare uh, for physicians has never been better. You know, 80% of physician offices is what we have found, do about 4% of their total re, uh, uh, revenue in skincare. That number should be 15% or greater. And so we look at that, how, we, how can we help you accomplish your goals of seeing skincare really be a key part of your business going forward? So, you know, best in class support, you know, we take a lot of uh, uh, emphasis on this. Our education team, we have an education team of nine persons that are able to be there. You know, this was brought up earlier today about education's really in desperate need these days. So they're there to support our resellers. We have a marketing program that's virtual that allows our resellers, our key resellers, to be on an eight-week uh, sponsored by Jamarini Skin Research to really get marketing advice, not just in skincare, but really how aesthetics has really changed in, in this current environment that we're in. Uh, Friend Media, uh, we had Vaughn here spoke earlier. We're very happy about the relationship that we have with Friend Media. We're the only skincare company that actually has videos available, and we have signed up uh, dozens of accounts to Friend Media. One thing that Vaughn did not mention in his talk was the average wait time in an office is 18 minutes. And so instead of looking at your smartphone, showing him Friend Media videos makes a lot of sense. And that's it. And I'm right on time. So thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.